so freaking bright. It's way too bright. Oh my good gracious. I hope this lighting's good because I cannot stand that being so bright on my face right now. Greetings and salutations. My name is Nikki. This is Midlife Adulting. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So this is just kind of a life update. Let me make sure I'm looking at the camera and not at the center of the camera. Um, I have been sick. Uh, that's primarily why there was like a three week gap between posting, but I am finally feeling better in my area. I don't know if this is true for everyone. A lot of people have been coming down with something, cough, sinus congestion, or, um, you know, just nose dripping, throat, phlegmy, all of these awful things. And I'm finally getting over it. I've got a little, little bit remaining here and there, but I am at the point now where I am no longer taking DayQuil, like all the freaking time, which is great. Uh, not that I don't love DayQuil. I do. Um, I managed to buy the green NyQuil though, and I don't think I knew that existed, <laughs> but that's okay. It works the same. Uh, so yes, I am finally feeling better and I hope that no one else is, uh, getting sick like I did. Um, I have been, so I dove into recording on Monday and I recorded two Notion videos, which is great, except the second Notion video got cut off because I ran out of space on my phone. Because of course I did. Um, I'm due for a new phone and that will open up some space availability and let me not have to worry about videos getting cut off. But that means I am going to have to voice over the second half of that video and I'm not looking forward to that. Not even a little bit. What else have I got for my life update? I'm, I actually took notes to keep me self to keep myself on track, to keep myself on track. I don't know what that voice was. I'm so sorry. Um, my 18 year old got their tattoo shaded. I don't know if I ever really showed off my tattoo, but this is rigid. This is a drawing that my 18 year old did, uh, several years back. And I love it. It's cute. It reminds me of stitch from Lilo and stitch in that sort of cute, scary way. Missing an eye, big sharp teeth, and then the purple and the green are my kids' favorite colors. And so I put those in the background. I am thinking of getting his tummy colored in pink, in some sort of pink pattern. I haven't gotten there yet. Um, my kid did have another appointment, but I think they're trying to cancel it. I'm not sure what, why, um, money or what, but... They, it's fair to say that they are in love with the process of getting tattoos, which I don't blame them. Uh, actually, not only did I get sick, my whole family got sick. I kind of forgot that we all share the same um, cup in the bathroom. And so I likely got everybody sick for which I am eternally sorry. <laughs> Everybody is starting to feel better now. My son missed a couple of days. My husband got kicked out of a meeting because he was sick, but um, my 18 year old uh, made it through, like toughed it out, but it's good. We're all feeling better now. Uh, I almost have Thanksgiving plans. I'm kind of super excited because I'm going to Florida with my mom to stay with my aunt for Thanksgiving. We don't have tickets yet, but we'll be there, you know, about a week probably around the date, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. I don't know. We don't have tickets yet. And, um, it'll be nice for me to have just an honest to goodness vacation. Um, it'll be good for me to have a break from work responsibilities and from even the possibility of having to um, stay on top of things 
like there's a couple things that I'll probably do remotely but the nice thing about the holiday is some things won't actually happen because of like who has open houses um the weekend after Thanksgiving everybody's putting up decorations and stuff for Christmas or going out shopping or whatever so I'm not too concerned about that I am debating whether to do vlogmas so I knew that vlogtober was a thing and I completely forgot about it so sorry um I every year I say I'm gonna do vlogmas and then I don't do vlogmas so I'm not actually committing to it but I am thinking about it I think I think if I picked a topic and I just talked about a certain topic every day, maybe learning one new, one new thing about the topic or sharing one more thing about the topic every day, that could be a lot of fun to create and it might even be fun to watch. Um, I'm not there yet. I, I, I'm not there yet. I'm thinking about it. It's, I'm mulling. You know, um, if anybody's interested in seeing me do Vlogmas, and that is posting every day in December up to Christmas, um, let me know. If there is really an interest in it, I will really try to make it happen. If there's like, if if the feeling is whatever you want to do, Nikki, we'll watch it because we like you. That's fantastic. I probably won't do Vlogmas. Um... <sighs> I signed up for a half marathon walk some time back. I signed up when I still stood a chance, when I had 16 weeks to prepare for a half marathon walk. I have never purposely walked a half marathon. I don't even think I have accidentally walked a half marathon. I don't think I've ever had that many steps. Let's see, 13. If 2,000 steps is a mile, that'd be 26,000 steps-ish. I've never done that. So the question becomes, am I going to do this half marathon walk? I need to get better walking shoes. The shoes that I have, um, I'm still, still having heel pain. I don't know if new shoes will fix that, but it's potent. That's, there's a potential there. Um, so it, it's not, I haven't canceled it in my brain yet. I am sort of viewing it as a misogi, mis 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 which is a concept that I learned about from a book called The Comfort Crisis, which I'm currently listening to uh, based on a recommendation from someone else and really enjoying. So um, definitely a half marathon would be a misogi for me because I have about a 50% chance of succeeding. And if I, um, and I, I wouldn't die doing the walk. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm on the fence because I'm not prepared. I'm not prepared. I haven't walked in some time. The furthest I have purposely walked is four miles. Four miles is not 13 miles. Um, it's just all very, I don't know. So yeah, the marathon, the half marathon walk, that's coming up on November 10th. Um, we'll see, we'll see about that. I, I would love to, I would love to try to do it. I would love to finish it actually. I can't imagine the state my body would be in at the end of it. That is all of the things I had planned to talk about, but here's a couple other things. I am starting to do some 2025 planning and normally this is the kind of stuff that I would wait until the last couple of weeks of December. However, there are people in my friend group who are, who have planned for 2025 back in September and late August. And I love that concept. So I am working on a new word of the year. This year's word was sparkle. 
Um, I'm working on a new word of the year for next year. I think I have it. Um, it's very similar because I enjoyed, I don't want to have the same word, but I want to, um, I want to keep the same vibe. Um, I am considering already doing some vision board videos. I think I will do what I did for Notion and kind of sketch out what I want to have in the content of the video I make about vision boards. And then I think I'm going to actually create my vision board potentially on screen, or maybe I'll just show my process. Um, I am pretty, not chaotic, but I'm very artistic and I don't just put video, put pictures together. Um, I like a really artistic thematic vision board. I can see mine over there right now. A big chunk of one side of it is all the pictures of the goals I had this year, some of which I accomplished actually. And then the other half of the page kind of divided at an angle is just pictures of things that vibe with me. So I found a picture that I really liked for the background and I tweaked it and um, it's going to be a poster that I get printed and I'll have one at work and one at home. Um, I'm super, super excited about doing that kind of a video. So if you're interested in help in creating a vision board and you're thinking you want to do it early, I got you covered. And that is all I have to talk about this morning. Uh, one thing that I didn't expect to, but that's okay. And, um, yeah. I hope you are having a fantastic day. Thank you for sitting here with my ketchup. And um, I look forward to being a little bit more regular here. Um, I've, I've done some review and refresh things in my Notion, in the Notion video that I created that I'm inter, inter, interacting, interweaving, implementing into my personal Notion dashboard, um, which at some point maybe I'll share because it's pretty cool. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I know I already said that, but let's say it again. If you're not having a fantastic day, I hope you're having a great day. If you're not having a great day, I hope tomorrow is better. I will see you next time. Bye.